The question was about heroes and Kansas State coach Bruce Weber answered it by telling a tale about his father, Louis. My dad came over on a boat from Austria, Weber said Wednesday at Phillips Arena. And my grandparents, you just think about what they did, the sacrifice they made to give us a chance. My dad and mom said all five of the kids were going to be teachers and coaches, and we all are, Weber smiled wistfully, recalling his childhood in Milwaukee with four siblings, we were afraid of my dad if we didn't do it, and he just said there was no better life than to help others. Weber said, and what better way to do it than teach and coach, the topic changed to first jobs and Weber suppressed a devilish grin remembering the story surrounding his days as a graduate assistant at Western Kentucky under Gene Keaty, Coach Keaty gets mad when I tell it, Weber began. He said, come down and meet me, and I drove nine hours. I had never driven nine hours from Milwaukee to Bowling Green, and when I got there I had my leisure suit, ready to go, and he wasn't there. And he was not only not in town, he was out of the country. He totally forgot about me, Weber's face fell as if he was receiving the news for the first time, I was just heartbroken, he said. About a week later, I got on a payphone while I was working camp at Marquette University High School. I put my quarters in because there were no cell phones yet and I got Coach Keaty. I said, I came down there, yeah, I'm sorry, he said. Drive back down and I said, hey, I can't do that, I'm running camp. You either hire me or not, Keaty hired Weber without having met him. They spent 19 compatible seasons together on the Purdue bench, teacher and pupil, before Weber left for Southern Illinois. That was 20 years ago. Then and now, Weber proved he can coach. Of his 20 teams, only two have had losing records. History shows Weber, 62, wins the old-fashioned way, with hard-nosed players who respond to coaching and whose conversations are unlikely to show up on FBI wiretaps as part of NCAA investigations. Success with the Salukas led Weber to Illinois, where he went to six NCAA tournaments, including the 2005 Final Four, in nine very unappreciated seasons. After the Illini fired Weber on March 9, 2012, Kansas State needed only three weeks to hire him. In six seasons in Manhattan, Con Weber has evolved into one of the Big 12's most polarizing coaches despite leading the Wildcats to a 124-79 record in four NCAA tournaments, including their first sweep. 16 appearance since 2010, so Weber, one of only 10 coaches ever to take three programs into the Sweet 16, has earned the right to reflect on what he has learned along the way. He laughed recalling doing 25 radio interviews in one day, for example, to give his program exposure after Sue qualified for the Sweet 16 in 2002, the big thing at Sue is that we weren't ready for it, Weber said. I mean, it surprised us. I didn't even know who we were playing or what bracket we were in. I was just happy to be there, and we found a way. Since then, I've learned this is not about just getting there, it's about moving forward. At Illinois in 2004, Weber inherited a loaded roster from Bill Self, my first team at Illinois, I talked about getting to the Sweet 16. Weber said, I didn't talk about getting to the Final Four, and I thought I capped them. And that summer I said we're going to the Final Four. We gave out t-shirts and that's what happened, so I guess what's different is just saying let's not just get there, let's get further and further and keep making that next step. The next step at Kansas State came as a bit of a surprise given that its best player, 6'10 forward Dean Wade, has missed the last three games because of injury. But Weber did what he often does, coaxing tremendous defensive efforts out of his team and going with a four-guard lineup to spread the floor offensively and shoot the three, he's so experienced, sophomore forward Xavier Sneed said. He knows what to do in any situation, and he's a great coach for us. He puts us in the right positions to succeed, if Weber puts the Wildcats in position to upset Kentucky, a potential matchup with Loyola would pit Porter Moser against a man who can relate to everything the Missouri Valley Conference coaching star is going through, he's a good person, Weber said of Moser. We've known each other a long time. He had a job, lost his job, at Illinois State, got a second chance, I know what we went through at Southern, the attention we got. To get to the 16 as a mid-major, they sure don't play like it, it's overwhelming. I'm happy for him. He can coach, so can the guy with a distinctive voice who's returned to the Sweet 16 with. His third school speaks volumes about consistency. Chicagotribune.com Twitter at David Hoffantastic finishes and memorable moments, now it's on to Sweet 16, photos, Sister Jean, Loyola's team chaplain and star of the NCAA tournament, Loyola Ramblers Road to the Sweet 16.